Hello, hello, and we're live. Hi, everybody. Uh, happy Sunday, fun day Sunday. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all coming in. Yes, it was quite a night, quite a day yesterday. I see everyone talking about it. Yes, um, my my thumbnail. I had had I had a different thumbnail already, and then last night I was just yeah, I was just amazed at. Um, everything I was seeing. Of course, I was crying a lot as well. As I see some of you said you were crying. And um, yeah, those second and third gens are just amazing, aren't they? Aren't they? And I want to talk about all of that. I want to talk about all the things. And I do have some pictures that were sent in of fur babies and craft projects and, and uh, scenery and all that. So I want to do all the things today. But I, I just want to get something out of the way, guys. You know that um, I'm honest. I, you know, when things happen, um, when people play stupid games, they win stupid prizes. And that's me. I'm the prize. Um, I just, I didn't want to do a whole stream about this. I don't think it's worth any of, any of our time to, to belabor this for an entire hour and a half. Um, I want to get to the important things like, like the protests, right? But some of you may know, and if you don't, you can hop on over to Kelly Cother's channel on her on her um, community page. And <clears throat> there was a comment from Matt Pesh about her video on on her video. It, um, it was a public comment that has since been um, deleted. But Kelly got the receipts. She did screen screenshots and put them on a separate post on her community page. And she wrote a response that is just, just amazing, mature, kind, clear, to the point. I mean, I, I just couldn't say it any better myself. And I don't, you know, I, I'm not here to speak for Kelly. And I'm not here to, well, I am here to defend her a little bit just because I, <laughs> I can't help it, guys. You know, she's, she's, uh, she means a lot to, to so many of us, to all of us, right? Um, she put herself out there and that video was done in the spirit of wanting to have some type of common ground, some type of resolution. She was absolutely fair, I believe, and she really uh, tried to see it from all angles and present it from all angles. And the response, again, was so unprofessional, so inappropriate, so condescending. I mean, like, you know the saying that they say, when someone shows you who they are, believe them? Um, I still can't believe it. I can't believe it. These three couples were um, like heroes to me. I really looked up to them. And their behavior is just like, what? What? Like, I got this cup today. Like, what you talking about? What you talking about, Matt Pesh? You know? And when I read it, that was my face. Like, are you kidding? And I saw it just a few minutes before I went on with Blow Drill yesterday, which was an amazing interview. He's so, he's just, people are saying he's a beautiful soul. He really is a beautiful soul. And if you haven't seen that, that interview, I suggest you watch it because um, he, he just has such a gentle spirit, a loving way of looking at things. Um, he did address this whole situation with the OGs. He was so fair and just so compassionate. And they really could take a page out of his book. I mean, this guy has been through hell and back. And talk about resilience. I mean, he is just such, such an example, an example to all of us. Yeah. Um, Aaron is second to Miscavige. I mean, Come on, and and calling calling Kelly ignorant. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I want to get this out of the way, but um, did not plan on doing a Sunday sermon. <laughs> but um, and I'm you know I don't mean to laugh, guys. Um, I do have respect for Christianity and for ev every other religion. Um, and the only reason why I'm bringing this up is because Matt and Amy. I heard him say he was a Christian too. Matt and Amy um, profess to be Christians. I don't profess to be a Christian, but I do know a lot of scripture. And um, just for the sake of uh, bringing the receipts, um, even Jesus got receipts too. 
right? Even Jesus got receipts. And if they want to come out and say they're Christians and pray on their channel and have thousands of people listen to scriptures that, that Amy is reading from, you know, 1 Corinthians 13 and all that, um, I thought I'd throw one in there. I thought I'd throw, throw something in there. So please stand by for a quick sip of water. Okay, so just going to read a little thing. Just bear with me. It won't take long. Um, and this is in reference to the pattern I'm seeing of this almost complaining about all the good that they do, right? And bragging about it and boasting about it and how they're helping people with, you know, with your all y'all's money, honestly. But um, just uh, what a burden it is. And Kelly very eloquently, in fact, I'm just going to, Try to reference that real quick. Um, Kelly said, let's see if I can find it. Many board members like to point out, uh, 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 sorry, <laughs> many board members like to point out about the effort being unpaid and voluntary. If that is a problem, then don't do it. I feel it's a silly argument to make. And I couldn't agree more. I mean, they're just, oh, we do, we've done so much good and you try it, you know, oh, oh, you know, I'm serious. Like, are you serious, Matt? Come on, come on. So I just want to read this real quick. This is from, you know, this is uh, the segment, Even Jesus Got Receipts. Um, it is the New Testament. And if you, if uh, someone were to read it out of a, I'm reading it on my screen, um, out of a, red letter Bible, it would be in red because these are Jesus's words. So Jesus said it, right? So if you, you know, if you profess to be a, um, a born again Christian, and these are the sacred words of Jesus. Okay. Without further, further ado, Matthew 6 verses 2 through 4. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. So that's the words of Jesus that they say is in, is in their heart. Maybe they should kind of stop and listen, stop and listen to Jesus. Um, and, you know, that's all I have to say about that. I, I just, it's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable, um, the, the behavior. And honestly, I am ready to move on. I'm ready to move on. I just, you know, like seriously. <laughs> um, I think that um, if they're, you know, continue, continuing to do good, let them, right? As Reese says, let them, let them whatever. I, the new foundation and hopefully many more charities to help ex-scientologists, it cannot come soon enough, right guys? I mean, and if you disagree with me, that's fine too. It, it's, it's all good. It's all good. Oh my goodness. Do I spy with my little eye? Serge Domar. Hi, sweetheart. Oh my God. I tell you, the fact that you filmed in black and white last night, it was just it was just so, so amazing. It was just poignant. And, um, that's, I used, I used screenshots from your, um, from your filming to do the, the thumbnail today. And that little group, I'm going to start crying guys that, um, when you were all comforting each other and putting <clears throat> that scroll, that list of all the names and going around, um, going around the celebrity center and taking turns, um, doing your speeches. That was just, to me, that was just the culmination of this whole weekend. Um, and I'm sure there's more today to come, but, um, that was just so deep and so poignant and so to the point. And this is what it's about. It's about the children and these second and third gens, they've grown up and they found their voices and they're not going to stop. They're not going to shut up. And I I'm here for it. And I know all of you are too. And we're just, you know, supporting you all and just so super proud of you and anything you need, 
please let us know. Please let us know. So I just want to do a few greetings. So glad to see you all here. We got Super Pop, hey, and Joel, and Poet, going down the line, Ace and K, Shanti, hi, everybody. Oh, my goodness, another child of Scientology. Hi, sweetheart. I'm sorry I'm getting so teary today. I am so proud of all of you. And one thing I want to mention is um, if you haven't seen Bianca Stockholm uh, Scientology Rundown, if you haven't seen the interview that she did with Kelly Copter, please watch it because it's it's so important to hear um, all the voices and and Bianca is so brave, so brave. And she is her testimony, her her story was one of the ones that I heard as along with Surge that really made me think about this narrative that was being fed to to the public to us about Debbie Cook, about um even even uh, Matt Pesh, you know, and Bianca had just mentioned in just in passing that he that he had driven her to her job or whatever as a kid, you know, and uh, delivered her to these captors, right? And and you know she didn't say he was a, a, a mean guy or a bad guy or anything, but dude, dude, I mean, uh, who in the right mind would do that and then just fluff it off. I mean, has he ever apologized? Uh, not that I know of. He, he was laughing in that phone conversation to Jeffrey Augustine about um the fact that, yeah, he knew about all kinds of crimes and, and child SA. And he's like, well, there were adults too. <laughs> like, what is funny about that? I don't see anything funny about it. And just very matter of factly um, seeing how, you know, he had the slush fund and he did this and that. It's like, these, these guys are really not my heroes. I'm sorry. They're just not. And, and I understand why people wouldn't want to go to them for money. So enough about, enough about that. Enough about him. So we got Mark Barker, Violet L, Kim McNeil. Hi, everybody. Sorry, I'm missing, I'm missing people. I know. Karini, all the way from Brazil. Yeah, let me know where you're from. I think this is awesome. Kelly is amazing. Yes, she is. Yes, she is. She, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of you yesterday were saying in the in the chat when Blow Drill was, um, you know, speaking to a lot of these these issues, and you were saying Kelly is the adult was the adult in the room. She was the adult in the room. Yep. And some of these people are twice her age. Yep. They done stepped in it again. <laughs> Tone deaf response. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we have, you know, we're just moving on. We're just moving on. You know, no one, they're not listening. It's okay. It's okay. They can, they made their bed. They can lie in it. And I, like I said, the, the new foundation cannot come soon enough. I can't wait to, to support it. Can't wait. You know, gee, some fans of the aftermath still see coming forward as an attack. Well, that's okay. They can see, they can, they can see it that way. Um, I don't know what to say that uh, like Kelly was really just trying to be balanced and fair. And I think she was, and if they want to see it as an attack. They can, but I'm just kind of done. I want to, I just want to look to the future and to the positive uh, aspects of this movement and taking down, you know, Scientology because the kids, the kids need to be set free. The kids need to be set free. So. <laughs> hey, gorgeous. Yeah. Surge is beautiful inside and out. Absolutely. Pause for Andrea. Hi there. Loved your interview with Dylan yesterday and the awesome S peeps in the chat. It was a great chat too. Yes. Matt's post was very patronizing, beyond dumb, totally uncalled for. Talk about tone deaf posts. Yeah. Well, it is what it is. And I'm glad Kelly called it out. What can we say? Right. We got Lydia Von Stretchclaw, Tampa B. Barbara, Joe Spring, Ag Agatha Cacological. I'm working on that. Working on it. 
Corn Freak. Hey, everybody. Tian Louis. I'm sorry if I'm not getting ever dawned on me. RSM. Hey. So good to see you all. Oh, thank you, Rick Spicer. This is very sweet. May your heart be happy, Marilyn. Don't, I'm getting emotional. Don't let the sharing be too heavy on your soul. Thanks, Smiley. Thank you. Yeah, I carry it, guys. I carry it. Um, but um, I got to let it go sometimes too, you know, and um, it's hard to watch. But <clears throat> then I see... Um, happy things like all of the second and third gens coming together you know and aa ron and i mean you gotta you gotta laugh a little bit i mean i have that kind of dark sense of humor too where you know so many of them especially like a ron was in front of la poubelle la poopoo what is it called what do they call it la poopoo bell um and he was and he was saying to everybody like as they're walking by like cover your drinks cover your drinks and then i think it was doa that had a drink menu i mean it is dark humor but sometimes it's like it's a coping mechanism for me to to laugh things laugh at things but yeah um they're they're very brave they're ma they're making their voices heard and i tell you um i think that the momentum just can't be stopped and and i'm here for it i love it Bianca, I love you. Rainbow, yes, rainbow hearts. I love it. Oh my God. <laughs> Liz and Carrie. <laughs> they won the internet on the costumes last night. They did. Oh my God. They are fire. Oh, so cute. Yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. Bragging about Mike Rinder. Debbie, yeah whatever i mean it's so silly it's just ridiculous lena in love comment i was just a small child when i first understood that age has nothing to do with maturity yep amen to that preach right this is sunday morning <laughs> sunday morning sermon um Ace and K. Constructive criticism is no attack, and anyone who sees it that way needs to grow up. Grow the F up, right? And grow a thick skin. Yeah, it's just astonishing to me to see what they're really what they're really like. It's like, wow, so sad. Uh Joel McCoy in comment. When ego drives your opinion, you will be the last one to see that you are wrong. And it may be too late then to correct it. Um, and you will suffer the most from it. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Yeah, I definitely want to talk about the protests and Pearl Snappy and all that. But you know, guys, whatever's on your mind, I I try to really be sensitive to that. Um, and, you know, I know some of you want to talk about uh, the Matt Pesh thing. And, and that's okay with me. Um, and then, you know, we can we can talk about the future. And um, just seeing all, all of those those uh kids i call them kids together it's just awesome yeah all right got it he said do you notice that the whole movement picked up speed after the breakup with the ogs yeah yeah i see how aaron has just been freed you know um and it's free to, to be himself and do what he, whatever he feels that he wants to do and um yeah I, I do see that. And, and the invasion of the TikTokers and the, the Squirrel Squad has helped a lot too, definitely. And I love seeing um, some, of, some of the OGs out there, like Spanky. Oh my God. She's so cute. I love Spanky. And Tori, Tori Magoo. Just awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I agree. It is sad that Claire and Mark our second gens they weren't there to share in that tremendous healing process yeah they missed a huge moment yeah yes they are second gens and they have been they have been traumatized um but there there is like i said there's that kind of power differential where they were at the top and um have a hard time relating unfortunately that's that's what i see anyways it's my opinion it is really sad so Destiny. Hi, Destiny. 
comment. As Michael says, you break down, then break through, and you do it all over again. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes you got to break down before you have a breakthrough. Love that. Yeah. I really loved talking to uh, the literally guys, <laughs> literally Michael, literally Serge and Poe. That was just such a, a lot of people use the word healthy. I, I, I think that's right. I felt very healthy and um, productive and just, I, I just loved it. I thought it was wonderful. Just a great, great collaboration. Bianca, what doesn't kill you gives you unhealthy coping mechanisms and a dark sense of humor. <laughs> I can't argue with that. No. I got Kate Murphy. Hello, hello. Creepy P, there you are. Miss Sunrise Dawn, thank you so much for being here. My fabulous mod. And we got Heather. Hey, Heather. Thank you so much for the super chat. There's a personality flaw that allows a person to rise in the Scientology organization. The board members are showing us what got them to the top in real time. Wow. Yeah, I, I've heard um, several ex-Scientologists say that, uh, so many of them, um, that there, it does, there is a certain personality type, personality flaw, and that you really can't get to the top of that, you know, of that hill of the Scientology ladder without having some of these, I hate to say it guys, but like antisocial kind of like narcissistic personality traits, you know, um, it's, it's really, it's really sad. And it's gotten to the point where uh, I think it's been a really good thing that there has been more of a shakeup and there, there's not one group, tiny group of people that are controlling this, this community, this space, um, the narrative, the, the charity, the public charity, like that's, Ugh. No, 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 no. But you know, they still they're they're on the board of the aftermath, and if they stay there, they can stay there. Whatever. I mean, we're just gonna move on. That's all I can say. And do things differently, you know. Absciento, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Pearl. I I've got. I'm so excited. I have like a um. A thumbnail like ready for you. If you want to use it, I'll send it to you. Or if you want to come on, I know it's all about thumbnail. Um, I would love to talk to you. And maybe even this week sometime when you know you get you get a little nap and you know, um, but oh my god, I'm so proud of you clapping. I'm clapping. Um, I didn't know what Ky what Kyle looked like um because I couldn't find those those videos. So when I saw you found you saw him yesterday and he walked by, I was like Oh my God, that's clapping Kyle. Holy shit. And then um the DM stuff. Oh my God. You I, I think it's amazing that you got that rooftop uh perch where you could zoom in. And it was so obviously him, like the little guy. Oh man. It it was sad though seeing all the people just kind of clapping and uh, you know, doing what they do, but they probably ship them from all over the place because I'm sure they're not they're not from Austin, right? A lot of those people, unless they paid them to come in. But yeah, I'd love, love, love to talk to you about that. And thank you for the super chat, honey. Appreciate that. We are so proud of you. It's just been an amazing weekend. It really has. Yes. Thank you. Absolutely. I love it. Love it. You drive in. Okay. Drive safely. Drive safely. You are the best. So good to see you. Everybody send in love. Yes, you will. Okay. All right. Text me. Let me know what your schedule is like this week. Yes. The biggest thing I saw this weekend was Liz Gale's list. Yeah. And her brother was at the top. And um, Phil, Philip Gale. Yeah, so many. Um, and there are so many more. There's so many more. And there's there's so many more with you know behind those walls as well. So we're not gonna stop, guys, right? My uh, Pearl Snappy, you are my hero. Yes. She is amazing. 
Yeah. Yeah. So what, what's on your mind guys? Um, I, I just feel like just so, um, encouraged and, and hopeful. I'm hopeful. And I think that, um, there is definitely a shift in, uh, in like focus and resolve. And I talked about, um, resilience the other day. Talk about resilient people. We got Pearl Snappy and, and surge and all of them all the second third gens all the quote never ends that are helping out the allies i think we should call them allies right we're allies right i love it um courage is contagious yes you are rubbing off on us <laughs> thank you pearl love you love you yeah liz gal made that list yes yeah, she has very uh great handwriting oh my god it was perfect and it was so long i don't know how many names that's a good question no question oh thank you miss summarize dawn she's got pearl snappy's footage yes if you haven't seen it yes and that's my email thank you so much appreciate that mischief how many more names belong on that list yep how many kids in that building last night it is shameful. It really is. I'm hopeful, but haven't got over the scroll yet. Yeah. Yeah. Just thinking of it, about it. Yeah. It, it was. Uh, yeah. I'm sorry. I just, I am just. Starting some things. Sandy R, I saw a comment on Laura of DOA stream that he could get Mitch's info so they could have an interview. And I thought of DOA's pure and thought, pure soul and thought. So I did a reply. DOA can handle anything though. Um, he could get Mitch, Mitch Brisker. Huh? All right. I would watch that. Okay. Good for DOA. Yeah. You know, everybody, everybody should go there once, I guess. Give him a whirl. Why not? All right. Joel McCoy, comment. What we have seen this weekend is how important youth is to the end of Scientology. The young folks are really putting energy in it all over the U.S. I'm so damn proud of them all. Yes. Yes, there's things going on, on in Portland. Uh, New York City, all over the place. So excited about that. Mark Bunker, or Barker, I almost said Bunker. <laughs> um, I believe 200 to 250 something like that was watching replays all morning. Wow. Yarn Pepper, I would never in but experience in the Catholic cult. Yeah, some people, you know, consider that a cult. Um, yeah, I don't know where I stand in that. I feel like it can be culty. I feel like all religions um, and denominations can tend to be culty um, as far as like high control. Um, but yeah, I, I hear you. I hear you. There is a lot of re religious trauma. But then some people, I think people that are more mainstream kind of dabble, like, you know, go to like, a rabbit. She's a Catholic. She says she doesn't really go to church. She just goes on like probably the holidays, you know, I, I think that's fine. Doesn't seem like she's controlled, but yeah, I, I hear you. It can, um, anything that causes you to feel guilt and shame and, um, like you're being controlled, like you have to do something in order to be accepted. That can be a little bit, a little bit culty or a lot of bit culty, I should say. Okay. Gina G. Are the TikTok protesters aware of Jeffrey Augustine and his wife, Karen, donating to the LAPD? I'm not sure. Um, I don't really know about that, but I popped it up. So maybe, you know, maybe people should be aware of it if that's true. You know, I, um, I don't know. I, I saw Karen and Jeff there. Um, hugging the second gens 
They seem to be very positive. They seem to want to support. Taking that at face value, I guess. But there's some there's some issues um, that I don't know a lot about. But yeah, things that make you go, hmm, right? So that's not, you know, that's not something I'm really wanting to tackle and take on. But I know that our friend Doug, Scott Kramer, did. And uh, I, I believe what he had to say. So that's all I'll say about that right now. Yep. Trisha, I think I heard somewhere in the neighborhood of 130 names. I believe it. I believe it. Susan P., I was touched by, yes, Danny and Leah driving 24 hours straight to be there with Pearl Snappy and her protesters. Yes, that really did my heart good, too. That's amazing. Yep. Mischief today, I caught up on most of the lives from yesterday, starting with Pearl and what um, it's well worth the watch, everyone. I agree. I was skipping around and trying to, you know, um, I was on with, with blow drill for like two hours and then I got off and watched Nora and, and caught up on, um, Pearl Snappy and, and Liz Ferris and then caught, you know, A.A. Ron and, and Liz Gale and all them. And I was sad for Liz Gale that later on when she got in front of La Poubelle, um, her phone didn't have service or something. And it was so funny though. She was, she's hilarious. I just, I just love me some Liz Gale. I just, I love the quirky energy. She's just so cute. And I love the relationship she has with the kind of brother sister back and forth she has with Aaron. Like she just gives him hell. And I, I just, I'm there for it. I, I just love it. I think it's so cute. I like it. Oh, yes. Dawn and me. It brought me to tears watching so many children being brought to that Austin event. Yeah, exactly. And uh, Earl Sappy was calling it out, you know, They're walking by with little, little kids. And she's like, I'm sorry. I don't mean to laugh, but she's just so forward about it. Child trafficker. Child. Yeah, it's she called it. You know, it is really sad. And it's, it's wrong. It's just wrong. Hey, Susie SP Squirrel. Good morning, Marilyn from Milwaukee. Hey, I think that's the first. I haven't seen anyone from Milwaukee that I know of. Um, okay. Nina. Oh, 129 on the list. I'm just reading down. Oh, 129. That makes sense. That is a big list. Yep. Nikki. Hi, Nikki Hatfield. Liz Kell brought me to tears. Makes me want to go to the Philly org and start a protest. I'm an ally. That's right. Yeah. That would be awesome. Brenda, I think Aaron was taken aback with sadness at seeing his twin, his twin brother on the name. Yeah, on the list. Why he didn't speak. Yeah. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Gina, can't stop thinking about Doug's videos on controlled opposition. I hear you. I hear you. Pigs is Pigs 51. Not a call. Catholics can leave when they want. No one comes and drags you back. Yep. If you can afford to donate, you do. If you can't, you don't. Again, no one comes after your wallet. They sell you nothing. Yep. I agree with that. It, definitely, I wouldn't I wouldn't put Catholics, um, the Catholic religion or denomination, um, in in a in the category of a what I would call like a textbook destructive cult, right? Um the isolation and um right the control over money the um the disconnection um yeah I, I don't i don't think that they are um i mean they have the pope but i wouldn't call that like a charismatic leader because they're it's not you know it's not like um scientology or door of hope or all the other cults that we talk about yeah What? I didn't see her. Dianetics Mercer showing up in LA. 
was a moment. Oh my God. How come I don't know about that? I didn't hear from her. I should have known. Oh my God. I got to look that up. That's amazing. I always learn something from you guys. Um, something I missed. That's awesome. Joel McCoy, once again, as things change and progress, Doug comes up again and again. His mark is permanent. What a great tribute to him. Yeah. Yeah. I I, I wonder what he would think about the, all of this, you know. I did not see her. Did you see Marisa Dianetics um, SB? I saw even went back to Airbnb to hang out. How did I miss that? Because I must have gone to bed. I was tired, guys. I I think I went to bed about midnight or 1 o'clock. About 1 o'clock, I think. And, you know, I'm three hours ahead. So, sorry, I'm looking it up. Did she have any videos? If anyone knows, I definitely got to see that. Want to look her up? No. All right, I'll have to check the other streams. I missed it. I just love Dianetics. Not the book, the girl, <laughs> the lady, Marisa. Oh boy, Maya. <laughs> I'm not going to pop that up, but <laughs> yeah, Dylan is, he's a sweetheart, isn't he? Destiny comment. Whenever I think of Doug, I think the dude abides. He has left us a great legacy. Don't be afraid to call it the BS and let the rest of it go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, toke for Doug. Here we go. Why don't we do a, a Zenu Marlene? I'm going to call it a Zenu Marlene Sweeney because someone asked. I'm not sure who it was, but, you know, to all the other Marlenes out there, we don't want to offend anybody. So. Everybody partake. Whatever you got. I have coffee. This is for Doug. Thanks, guys. Oh, just looking. Marisa was at the blue building in the afternoon. Yeah, I got definitely gotta see that. Oh, okay. I missed. I missed Aaron's earlier. So, oh no, I think I watched it. I kept bouncing around, so I was missing pieces of everything. I next had a black t-shirt with Scientology kills. All right, I'll have to check that out. Totally. All right. So, guys, um, let's see what time we're at. Oh, we're less than an hour. I can hang out a little bit longer. But, yeah, I just wanted to come on and acknowledge the second gens, Pearl Snappy, everybody that came, all of the all the TikTokers in L.A. That was quite a crowd, like right in front of La Poubelle last night. I thought it was amazing. Yes, I love, I love his community, yes. Uh, Miss Tara Green, hi there. Uh, what do you think of Chris Shelton? Okay. <clears throat> you really want to know? Oh, all right. Stand by for a sip of water real quick. Okay. Well, um, I don't know him. I don't know him. And um, I've heard that he's said, I don't know Marilyn Honig. Like someone must have asked him. And he's like, he's, someone said, Marilyn, uh, Chris Shelton said he doesn't know you. And I'm like, okay, whatever. I don't know him either. Um, he did block me on Facebook though. So uh, he must know something about me. Why, why else would he block me? Um, in the beginning, when I first started in this you know, space, watching a lot of different videos. I did, I did watch him. I did get some things out of, um, what he had to say about course of control. Um, I think, um, his degree, 
I'm not sure. I've never heard of a master's degree in course of control. Um, I wouldn't say it, but if my if my adopted dad were around, he might ask if he got it out of a Cracker Jack box, but I'm not saying that. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, I He strikes me as um, kind of insecure and um, has to kind of blow his own horn a little a little bit. I did have one exchange with him on comments once, and he was very condescending and very dismissive. And I found him a bit whiny. Um, he's smart, smart guy. Um, but, and I'm sure he's done some good. And um, I don't um, judge people's motives. I'm not a mind reader. I'm not a thought police. That's great what he does. Like if he wants to do it on his channel, he's got people that follow him that will go to the mattresses, you know, as a as the uh, Godfather, you know, says um, it, in the movie. Um, yeah, it, that's fine. That's totally fine. He can stay in Discord. He can stay in his lane, and um, whatever, whatever, right? So. I guess that's all I have to say. I don't, you know, people ask me what I think about him. I don't really think about him that much, honestly. That's that's really all I have to offer about that. Um, don't have a lot to say. Don't have a lot. I, I just don't think about him, really. So. All right. Um, just going down the line here. Okay, Lumi Dawa. I took a screenshot to show my question was blocked. He said the protesting was not how to handle traumatized people. Uh, are you talking about Chris Shelton? I have heard that he said that. Um, oh, went to the end of Chris's live. Okay, here it is. I went into the end of Chris's live yesterday and asked what he's doing to help Miriam. My question didn't show up. Yeah, so he probably removed it. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I guess um, he can just do his thing. Um, he did put something in Discord that Nora had screenshot and put up or somebody probably sent it to her and put up and he said I hope that this gets to every SPTV creator and he was saying how people um that he no names or anything no one's really come forward to say this but people that he's helping or whatever that have freshly left Scientology don't want to have anything to do with SPTV um okay I his reasoning was that they don't feel safe. They don't feel heard. Or they, I, I forgot the exact words, but the impression I got was saying that like, you know, we're so, we're so mean and scary and we're, you know, we don't, we don't, um, make people feel comfortable. We don't make people feel accepted. We don't make, you know, people feel heard. Well, I think several people that have kind of broken off with, with the OGs and with Chris and all that feel exactly the same way about them. They, you know, it can be, it could be said, and it has been said that they are unapproachable. They're very condescending. They're very holier than thou. And yeah, it's all, it's all uh, perception, right? Perception is uh, reality for people. So, does Chris Shelton do interventions? I, I, I don't know. I really don't. Um, do you mean like? deprogramming. I think he does that. Uh, I heard that, um, I heard that he's, he's charging quite, um, a lot per hour to talk to people and that's his prerogative. People want to pay him. I don't know. I know. Um, what do you think about John Atak? Um, I, I think he's, I, I like him. I don't watch him a lot anymore, but I used to watch him quite a bit. And um, something I learned from him, I'm not sure where he got this, if he came up with it, but he uh, talked a lot about um, weaponized empaths. And that made a lot of sense to me. And I, you know, I liked his input about, um, you know, LR, um, yeah, about LRH, about the early years. And he, he seems a, a little bit um, upset that, uh, Russell Miller's book that he kind of helped 
um, contribute to got a lot more traction, a lot more attention than his book about blue skies. Blue, let me sell you a piece of blue sky. And I think that was shut down because of some kind of libel laws. The the laws in the UK are a lot more stringent. So, um, yeah, he seems like a decent dude. I don't know. I'm probably not the person to go to for for opinions on on um, some of these old timers that are been around for a long time. But yeah, I think he's all right. Yes, I saw that shanty comment. Everyone should watch Nora's live. She did earlier in the day yesterday. She talked about her dad and seeing her stepmother. Very emotional. Yeah. And I'm glad she went back and regrouped and, and took care of herself. You know, self-care is really, really important in those type of situations. Absolutely. Yeah. Ace and K, if he, meaning Chris Shelton, cares about traumatized people, he wouldn't say trauma, drama. Nobody with a real degree would say that. Um. Yeah, I tend to agree. If if anyone hasn't seen, um, Liz Gale did a, a great stream on that um, maybe a week or two ago. And she had, you know, she makes these amazing charts and like, like she made that scroll with all the names. She she makes so amazing visuals. Like, well, that's just one of her gifts, really. And um, she was talking about trauma, drama. What is trauma? what is drama, broke it down and had a lot to say about it. And it did come from um, that accusation from, from Chris Shelton, I think was, the, you know, the first uh, inkling that it was a thing and, and she took it and I guess she had asked him to come on and talk to her and he's been refusing. So she did it herself. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure guys. I mean, we could, Oh, hey, darling. <laughs> Were your ears ringing? Love you, too. You're amazing. Don't make me cry. Just seeing your name and your... Yeah. I'm so proud of you all. I really am. And thank you for sharing sharing with us, you know. Um, yeah. You're, you all are just so amazing. Love you, Liz. Love you, Boots. I was hoping to hear you sing again. <laughs> you're just, you're all so awesome. And I hope you feel the love. We just love you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, creepy old lady. Okay. Chris went to the University of Salford, but there are two unis in UK by that name. One offered an MSc degree online with no prior academic required during COVID. I looked this up myself. Okay. Well, thank you for that information. Interesting. All right, then. Yeah. Liz, thank you for the amazing tribute. Yes, that was just the really was the highlight of the evening and hearing everyone speak out. And yeah, I mean, just so poignant. Liz, how many how many names are on that list? Um, people were wondering, was it around 130? Yeah. Love you too, honey. I don't have that fancy heart thing that comes out, but we do. I'm just on a PC here. John is smart. I just don't like how he bashes Buddhism. Okay. I hear you there. Hey, rough girl. Hi, I haven't seen you in a while. Deprogramming yourself is a very difficult process. I refuse to judge anyone attempting the process. There you go. Yeah, it is a difficult process, isn't it? Everybody saying hi to Liz Gale. Yes, that tribute was very, very touching. It really was. Love the Liz. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's saying hi to Liz. Thank you for being here, honey. So good to see you. 129. Okay, that's what that's what a couple people were saying. Yeah. Liz, you made us cry. It was healing and heartbreaking. Yeah. Just so poignant, too. Z McCarthy. Hey there. Removing or ignoring. Thank you for the super chat. Removing or ignoring comments is a theme. Even SPTV. Yeah. Um, I've had it done to me. And uh, 
I try not to remove comments unless they're really, really rude or um, very spam malicious. Uh, you know, people with uh, spam minions, I call it, and their opinions that get like spammy and, you know, tagging people and stuff. But yeah, I, I like challenging questions. And um, as long as they're not super rude and someone's not just there to just be, you know, an outright jerk, I I definitely um, like like to, I like questions that may really make you think, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I was wondering that too. Mischief, does Chris Shelton live in the, No, I think he lives in Denver. Um, I guess he got, I mean, you can get um, a degree from a UK-based uh, online. Um, you can get anything online. I mean, you can get ordained online. You can do all kinds of stuff online. Yep. <laughs> yep. Spam malicious. Yeah, I just tell people not to be too spam malicious about their opinions. You know, when if it's every if I see the same name every second or third, I'm just like, you know, come on. Can't you just say it, you know, say it in a Hallmark card altogether? You know, why? Yeah. Stelford Uni is well respected. Okay, it must have been online. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really don't. It probably it probably was. Or maybe he went over there and lived there for a little while and went to school i really don't know um i've just never heard of that degree myself but i guess it's a thing um but you know people people that have have degrees i really i you know respect that i think it takes a lot of discipline and intelligence to get a degree um but yeah, I don't have a degree, and um, some of Chris Shellen's friends have, uh, or fans, fans I should say, have reminded me of that many times. But um, yeah, I, I guess uh, my only expertise is in the school of hard knocks. That's that's all I got to say about that. So, Joel McQueen, you can buy a degree or you can earn it. A real one takes years. I spent years to get mine. Yeah. Yeah. Duncan has a degree. Um, he went to, um, uh, what's it called? Like engineering. And then he switched majors to marketing. And so he's got a degree. I mean, this is, this is like 40 something years ago now. Um, he didn't use it for many, many years. And then when he started doing, uh, real estate, you know, being an agent, it, it did come in handy, but you know, you got to relearn everything. He forgot everything he learned, but yeah, I, I think a degree is good because I, I tell my kids, like, even if you just get college credits or degree or something, you know, you that can never be taken away from you. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a good thing. I think higher education is is a good thing. So, yeah. I don't like to give, I, I don't want to give Chris Shelton too much of my airtime. Just like, you know, I, I gave Matt Pesh maybe five, 10 minutes in the beginning. I just don't, I don't really, we don't want to hear how you are in the UK. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I hear you, Mischief. <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Real world experience. Yep. And I hear you guys. Well, this has been awesome. Um, I am so proud. I'm so, I'm so privileged and honored that that I had you know some second gen third gen pop in this is awesome we had Liz Liz Gale Gale and Serge and um all the way from Stockholm Sweden uh we had our friend um Bianca and yeah I I'm here for it all and I'm really looking forward to this week I think we're gonna be um talking to Pearl Snappy can't wait for that and any anybody else Liz Liz Gale Gale if you want to chat this week that would be awesome um I think I have something planned with Kelly Copter we're doing um a little I think a little reaction video to something um not not totally Scientology related I think we we're gonna have a break from super super spicy spicy stuff um it will be semi Scientology related. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, also I've been talking to, uh, our friend Gretchen only, I call her Dr. Gretchen cause she is a doctor. She has a doctorate in, uh, I think psychology and she's a, um, 
licensed uh, psychotherapist. And yeah, we're, I think we're going to talk about uh, trauma related uh, conditions like chronic illnesses, chronic fatigue, uh, chronic pain, and uh, really, really looking forward to that because I know that many people in this uh, in this community, in this space, struggle with uh, chronic illness. And a lot of it does have to do with, uh, with a history of trauma. So that's basically what my doctor and rheumatologist have, have said about me. So yeah, so great to see you guys. Oh, <laughs> you're such a sweetheart. I love you, Liz. Thank you so much for being here. Love you so much. Susan P., Marilyn, want you to know how proud I am of you. Your strength and your loving heart means me. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. I love being here with you guys. Oh, hell no. I missed the scroll moment. Anyone know where I can see it? I watched mo most of the night and still missed it. Yeah, I was on a little bit late. Um, I was what. I was back back and forth through several streams that it's on. I happened to be watching um, Surge, the black and white version that he was filming, which was kind of cool. Um, it's on a bunch of the streams. If you go to Natalie Webster, she has a bunch of clips of different things that's listed in her, her video from this morning. So I was watching that too um, this morning. She's great to like get a recap from. And she actually had Pearl Snappy on. I think Pearl was like walking her dog or something. And she had her on and she played, she was playing lots of clips and things. So, yeah. Yes, I made a special Would You Rather Call edition for you, Marilyn. I hope we can do it this week. Yeah, let me know. Yeah, I'm pretty flexible. I'm starting to um, kind of reach out and, and work on um, a schedule. But yeah, let me know. I definitely, whenever you want, I'm there for it. That sounds like fun. <laughs> and like, you know, it's like, like I always say, you gotta, you gotta have some humor mixed in to all this trauma stuff, you know? Well, oh, William Good has it on his stream from last night. Yeah. Liz Gill, Liz Ferris, Aaron. Yeah, I think it's on pretty much on everybody's. Make it make sense. Or I'm like, no, that's okay. You can watch the replay. All right, everyone, we're at about an hour. So good to see you all. Um, oh, wait, one thing. I forgot to show you the pictures. Oh, my goodness. Okay, one second. Let's do this. Share screen. Okay. All right, this is, this came in from Buffy Summers. This is Jet. I think we met him the other day. I, I uh, showed a picture of him the other day, and this is a closer up. He's a Siberian Husky. Isn't he beautiful? Oh, look at those eyes. Super, super cute. Let me just switch over and make sure it's working. Okay, good. All right. And next, uh, Buffy sent a picture of a sunset. Sunset. This is from Ocean Shores. I'm not sure exactly where Ocean Shores is, but isn't that beautiful? And next we have from our friend, Joe Spring, uh, Agatha Cacological. And look at this, beautiful. This is a mobile that she painted over her granddaughter's crib. And her granddaughter's name happens to be Nora, <laughs> which is a great name. Love that name, Nora. Like, oh no, Nora. And next, this is her dog, Gracie. Look at it. So precious. It looks so snuggly. Or she, <laughs> that's Gracie. And then our friend, Tony. I think this is No Talk Tony. She keeps changing her name on me, but this is Tony. And this is Dog Pile. That's Jake on the top and Mila on the bottom. And there's another picture of the dog pile. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't that super, super cute? I can't, I can't stand it. Yeah. So keep sending those in. You can email me at coffeecultsandcrafts at gmail.com. Definitely want to keep showing those. That just does my heart good. So, and without further ado, I'm going to sign off guys and I will see you guys soon. Bye. Have a great day.